Lisa, this update was two parts, short term and long term when it comes to California's energy grid. Short term, ahead of this summer, Newsom's administration said the outlook this summer looks good. The last couple of summers, Californians have been prepared to deal with potential blackouts because of stress on the grid during those extreme temperatures. Newsom's administration says that likely will not be the case this year because of the extremely wet winter we just had. Plus, the state has secured more power sources to keep the lights on this year. The caveat here is wildfire season, which can knock down transmission lines. The governor and other state leaders gave this update from a renewable energy storage manufacturer in Richmond. In the long term, the governor updated the state's strategy to rely entirely on renewable energy by 2045. The most significant change to this plan, he said, relies on his other proposal to cut down on the paperwork and process that involves California's Environmental Quality Act and environmental laws to get those energy projects approved. This would help anything from more battery storage facilities, offshore wind, solar and other energy providing projects to get off the ground faster. We want to mark that the goal setting we've done, that we're moving away from aspiration to application, to implementation. There's a practical reality, a hard-headed pragmatism that we're pushing here. Uh, I think the most important thing is to reinforce is we can't get it done unless we go big and bold. And we've got to address the barriers in our way. And that's the permitting process. Uh, and that's a procurement process. That's foundational. We're not going to achieve these goals unless we can remove these barriers. Now, the vice president of California's Energy Commission says in order to meet that 2045 goal, California needs five times the amount of renewable energy resources that the state has today, Lisa. All right, and given California's budget situation right now with shortfalls expected for the next several years, does the governor's plan account for all of that? Yeah, I mean, we posed that question to him asking if this plan accounts for not just those budget situations, but also what's playing out on the national stage with U.S. tensions with China, the war in Ukraine, all of these factors that not only affect the economy, but also the supply chain. The governor answered saying he's mindful of all of this and that this strategy will continue to be updated and evolve regularly as we get closer to 2045.